Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create custom loot spawn points for a static object or a land type custom object that you're probably going to be using within a event group spawn. So, you know, like we have the new trains and we have the new uh, military convoys and we have the new police convoys as well. If you're making your own custom version of those, there's a chance you're going to be using objects that naturally don't spawn items in the world. But you can use them because they're in the files, like this lifeboat here. So it's probably easier if I kind of show you what I'm doing. So I'm just creating a new uh, shipwreck uh, event group. Um, and what the shipwreck event group will do, um, it will spawn in um, a event group that consists of um, three lifeboats on the beach and then a bit of a ship wrecked out to sea. So what you can see here, so this is the event and at the moment I'm just kind of testing it so there's a nominal of one. Then we have the uh, event spawn entry, so that tells the game um, where to spawn the initial first object. So, it's, so it spawns them at that position there. And then the event group entry, what that then does is that then spawns in the original first thing and then it spawns all the, re all the rest of the items with relative coordinates to that first item. Um, and then they kind of spawn in in place. But because these, the first one, for example, is the static object wreck ship big lifeboat, it's easy for me to say, if we take a copy of that, class name and we go over to map group proto and we do a search for it control f we can see that there aren't any there um, um, and the only way that you can get items to spawn in as part of the central loot economy so where they're spawning in kind of randomly but according to what they should be spawning with you know like how you go up to um, let's use the example of like the rowing boat so you go up to row, rowing boat on the coast of Chernerus and there might be some drinks around it, there might be a fishing rod, there might be a dry bag, that sort of stuff. The only way you can do that is if it has an entry in map group proto and these things that I'm using that you might use as well don't have one so we need to generate one. Now the first step though is sometimes is to think of is there anything similar um, that has um, that could be in map group proto because we might want to use some of the um, code from that in our one and again so if we do a search and we search for boat we can find land boat small here so this is the map group proto that controls what loot spawns in you know the little fishing boats the little rowing boats that are on the coast so as you can see the usage name is coast so that's kind of its location so it should spawn in loot that's related to coast um, and it should spawn in tools containers clothes food and weapons um, and then we have the tag of floor and tag of shelves. And then around the little rowing boat, these are the coordinates that, you know, the can of Pipsy that you find is there, or the fishing rod is there, or the dry bag is there, or the little dry container. This is where they can spawn in. So this is the bit that we need to create. Um, and you can do that very, very easily within Daisy Editor. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. And we're going to go over to um, an open... Uh, text file in notepad plus plus and we're just gonna gonna paste that because we are going to use that um, and then we're going to go to uh, daisy editor mod and all you need to do is find the thing on the left hand side so put in lifeboat and you just right click it and go to loot editor and what that should do it should spawn us in in the middle of the sea as long as it doesn't crash because it does like to crash when you do this yeah which it just has done so let's just close that up and let's jump into it again and what will happen is when we go into this it will take us out to sea and it will put the lifeboat down and then we can manually add um, locations where we want to uh, spawn stuff in I think Daisy update 1.21 which is live as I'm recording this video it's introduced some instability into certain mods and definitely into the Daisy Edits mod um, which must be a pain for uh, increment dab so let's go back here and it'll just load it up now. Hopefully it won't take too long. And so what we do, we'll stay here and we just do a search for lifeboat. And all we do, we right click loot editor. Right, so we've done it. So we've jumped to here 
Um, it just takes us out to sea because this obviously this is a flat location. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's a lifeboat. And all we do now is you just double click somewhere, and it's a little bit difficult to see, but you can you, can you see the the spawn point here? And then we can move this spawn point around wherever we want to put it. So let's put another one, say here. So these are things that are going to spawn outside of the lifeboat. Uh, let's put one, another one here, say like that, and maybe one right there, maybe sort of there. And then let's put some inside as well. So let's double click there. Let's do it so it spawns on top of the seats there and say another one there. And then maybe one at the front here on top of this seat. Let me move it over a little bit. So that spawns right there. And once we're happy, hit escape to jump out. And it, sp and it copies those spawn points to your clipboard. So if you then jump back to your editor, and we, what we're going to do is we're just going to come underneath here, and we're just going to do Control V. So as you see, there we go. So it spawned them in. So as you can see, it's put the object name at the top, which is what we wanted. So we can just copy that like so, and we can paste that in to there. Static object wreck, big ship lifeboat. And as you can see, it's put in industrial, farm, and military because it doesn't know. But the bit that we're interested in is really is all this stuff here. So what we're going to do is we are just going to copy all of this stuff here, like so. And we're just going to use them to replace that there. Let's just tidy it up a bit. So, looks a little bit tidier, doesn't it? So that's all going to go in there. Um, well, we've got tools, containers, fluid weapons. So, yeah. So that's good. So we can now get rid of this. And so now we've got our custom um, Map Group Proto entry for the um, static, ob static object wreck ship big lifeboat. So when these are spawned in via the map group, the uh, event group event, it will spawn in stuff if we add this to the right place. I mean, you could you could edit this. You know, you could add some more loot to it if you wanted to. So more stuff would spawn in. So we could copy that. Go to the Map Group Proto .xml. Um, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll put it right at the top so it's easy to find spawn that in so that's there and then we would save that and then we would upload that to our server we would restart and then if any stats that's the object wreck blue ship big lifeboats were spawned in by an event in this case a, a group event they would spawn in with loot a couple of other things to bear in mind this won't spawn in loot with a custom json because that works in a different way um, uh, what you would have to do then is if you wanted to spawn in this with a custom JSON, you would have to create a, an event group, uh, a, a map group pos file as well. Um, and you would do that by physically placing the object somewhere um, when you're creating your JSON, your custom object JSON, and then you would go into file, export, export to map group pause and that would create a, an entry that you would then add into your map group pause but there's other videos that are out there that, that i've done about that say so i've done a few and i think don's done a few and a few other people have done a few also remember that if you're using a custom object like this this one that isn't normally used in the game in terms of spawning stuff in um, you need to make sure you add it to your types.xml as well. So copy one of the other static objects or land object entries and add it there um, because this should give that item some persistency um, through restarts. Not really quite sure how it works at the moment, but 
if you, for example, spawned in something large that people could stand on and there was a server restart, if that didn't have an entry in types.xml, it may well disappear on the, on the server restart. I mean, that might happen anyway because it's an event, but um, maybe it wouldn't um, if you have an entry. And it's always a good idea to anything you add into the game, put an entry into types.xml. And there we go. So that, my friends, is how you create a custom map group proto entry for custom uh, spawn points using the daisy editor mod for event group events so that when the object spawns in it will spawn in with random objects you know semi-random objects based on the, the the settings you've put in which which will be pulled from the central loot economy so they'll be different you know, you know in the way that loot spawns in uh, in the game normally right okay hopefully that's been useful if it has it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon